So I am Jennifer Sullivan and my business is just Jennifer Beauty. So, so I'm a therapist. I do facials, um, spray tans, face and foot reflexology. I joined Temple Spa in March last year. Um, I've now got a team of 19 and I do anywhere between about four and five thousand pounds personal sales every month. So I wanted to share with you what I do and some tips and tricks along the way specifically for therapists. Now, a few questions came up beforehand that I just wanted to address that this training is for any type of therapist, you know, whether it's a massage therapist, reflexologist, makeup artist, hairdresser, nail tech, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that you are seeing people and those people trust you, know you most likely unless they're a first time client. But if they're coming to you, there's already a level of trust there. And it's that client base that you want to nurture. The other question that came up was if for people who don't have their own database. So for example, me, I have my home therapy room. I also do mobile work privately, but then I also work with a third party company doing mobile work and I don't have their details. So people were asking, well, what do we do if we don't have a database? That database, even though you don't have their details, you are seeing them one on one. So it doesn't matter if you don't have their contact details, you will be giving them the value and selling and using the tips that I'm giving face to face. And that's how you will still do the sale. So it doesn't matter what circumstance you are in, this will work for you. So there's four steps that I wanted to talk about. Step one is about preparation. Step two is the demonstration. Step three is the conversion. And step four is the communication. And sorry if I'm going quickly, but I'm going to try and fit in as much as I can. OK, so let's talk about preparation first. First things first, know your products. You need to know what Temple Spa offer. The best thing to do here is if you go on the hub, there is a product directory. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen it, go and search it or ask your manager or, or ask someone within Temple Spa where to find it. It's a brilliant document. It has each product by page, what it does, what it's for, ingredients, products that go well with it. That is your Bible. Once you understand your products, you will then be able to look at all of your treatments that you offer and you'll be able to work out what supplements those treatments. OK, so, for example, if with spray tans, for example, I don't know if anyone does spray tans, but spray tans, for example, you think, well, what am I going to pair with that? Well, you want Be Gone, OK, the cleanser, because it's not going to strip the tan off the face. You want the SPF 30 because it doesn't leave a white cast on the skin, so it's not going to ruin someone's tan. You want the body wash because it doesn't take the tan off. So. You can give those out as samples as a little gift from you to introduce Temple Spa to their world. And they've that's got nothing to do with their with with them coming in for it. They haven't come in for a facial. They've come in for a spray tan. They had no intent on getting involved with Temple Spa. But you've now introduced someone who didn't have that on their radar just by using those products as their aftercare. They suddenly start to fall in love with the products. And that's how you can do that with any treatment that you offer. So the next thing is, if you are doing facials, write your facial protocol. Know what steps you are going to do in a facial and know the products that you are going to use. The great thing with Temple Spa is that it has something for every skin type, for every skin concern. So you can make up your facial routine if you are doing facials <clears throat> with those products. The next part is the consultation form. So no matter what treatment, if you're making sure that when a client books their treatment, you automatically, a consultation form goes out to them and they fill that out prior to the treatment, then you can really plan what you are going to do with that client. So um, I'm not sure how many of you do, do facials here, um, but I'll use that as a, as a good example. With my consultation form, I will always ask on there, it's a tick box. Do you need product recommendations, product advice or routine advice? Tick yes or no. And it's mandatory that they fill that out. 
if they tick yes, then when you get that consultation form in prior to the appointment, you know that is a green light for you to be selling products to them because they have asked for your help with products or routine. So you can already, by using the answers to their consultation form, work out in your head what is going to be best for them. It may, some of the products may change as you see their skin, but you can swap little products in or out, but you can have a routine ready to be able to talk to them about. If they have, you'll ask if they've got what their skin concerns are, what their skin type is, so that you can just prepare for your appointment. Then when they come into the appointment, you obviously want to have that conversation, which you normally would do anyway if you're doing a facial. If you're not doing a facial, if, for example, you're doing nails, have a chat to them. You, you always have a chit chat, right? When you're doing treatments, get to know your customer. And, and it's through conversation that you will find out what their pain points are. And that is what selling is. It is working out what someone's problem is and it's solving it. That's all it is. OK, next up with preparation, I highly recommend if you don't already get QR codes. OK, so these are my sample boxes, which I'll talk about later. But QR codes are absolutely fantastic. You can produce them for free on I think it's called flowcode.com. Um, and I will put the details in the WhatsApp group if anyone needs links and things. And it's so easy to do. They generate a flow code for you for free and they say, what website do you want this flow code to go to when someone scans it? And you can choose anything you like. You can choose your uh, temple spa shop. You can choose a milkshake or uh, which is sort of, in fact, can I share screen? So, for example, that QR code can go to something like this and you can make this in flowcodes.com. Um, and when you click on it, it can go to anything that you like. So, for example, the welcome start here. Can you now see my Vimeo? Yep. Yeah. This goes to a video of me talking about the products that I have included in that sample box. You can make up links for absolutely anything you like. It can be skincare tips. It can be the Temple Spa website. It can be your contact details or it can be a sign up for a newsletter about products or skincare. So definitely grab QR codes and stick them on anything that you're giving out to someone because if you give sample boxes out, you want someone to be able to really quickly snap on that and see how they can purchase. So step two, moving on to demonstration. So samples. Samples is a big thing for my business. I, out of all of the clients that I have for whatever treatment, I sell to about 82% of my clients. And that is either through doing facials or for giving out samples in treatments. So for example, when I do foot reflexology or face reflexology, that is just about a massage and about relaxation and it's on the feet or on the face. Nothing to do with facials. What I will do at the end of the session is I will give them this little care package. And inside I've got my aftercare instructions for reflexology. Sorry, this one's got a bit wet. Again, my QR code. And then I've got a little bag of the Temple Spa candle. And then I've got in the beginning cleanser. I've got the Repose night, uh, night cream. What else have I got? I've got a toner in here, the Temple Spa chocolate, and then a couple of other little bits that I wanted to put in that are Temple Spa, but they're just not in sample boxes. So this, the idea of this, it's a little bit of the bubble bath and a bit of the body moisturizer. And what I say is this is the little care package for you to carry on the relaxation of your treatment at home. So tonight, run yourself a bath, pop the candle on, wash your face, tone it, massage um, with the Repose night cream. And on that box and on the instructions, I put all the instructions of how to use the products as well on that QR code and it links to the shop. I get so many sales from doing things like this because people love the fact that they're getting something for free, a lovely giveaway. But then when they use the products, we all know they fall in love with them. If you're worried about cost of this, factor it into the price of your treatment. Um, samples like 
this for my spray tan will cost me about three pounds. So I factor that into the price of my spray tan and give it to them. Again, with the QR code on the top. So samples are definitely a great way to go. If you're doing nails, it can be hand cream. Um, you know, if I know some people are doing Botox and fillers, well, you need SPF with that. So give them an SPF, you know, anything that you're doing. If you're doing massage, you can, again, follow the same sort of lines as reflexology um, gift box. So then the rest of the demonstration is display something in the room. If you've got a treatment room, then you can display uh, products with a QR code as well. Um, if if you have a gift box that you've got from Temple Spa, you can display that. And it's just a conversation starter of people asking, what is that? It looks gorgeous. You can start talking to them about Temple Spa. Um, if you are doing facials, one thing that I would highly recommend you put on your treatment menu is a bespoke facial using Temple Spa products. I have got so many new clients come through to me through I'm on treat well and I'm on fresher and they come through to me specifically because I use Temple Spa because they have used Temple Spa before they've been to a boutique luxury hotel spa and they absolutely love them they know the quality of them they've seen just browsing on my menu that I've got a facial with Temple Spa products and I've asked them what made you choose me because I have never seen you before and they said oh because you use Temple Spa so definitely put that in your description. Um, you obviously can't call it a Temple Spa facial, but you can say that it is a facial using Temple Spa products. The next thing that I would recommend is offering a discovery facial. This is really, really popular with me. Um, and this is a talking facial. So not everyone just wants to lie back and relax. Some people do want to learn about their skin from a professional and they want to understand what you're doing with their skin and why. And so booking a discovery facial is literally as you're doing the facial, you're explaining what you're doing, what products you're using and why for their skin. And so they're learning as well as having that gorgeous treatment. And it's so much easier to sell those products afterwards when you've done a discovery facial because they understand the benefits of those products that quite often when I do a discovery facial, they buy everything that I have used. OK, and then step three is conversion. So ask for the sale. And I know that a lot of people find this difficult, but if you have done step one and step two, you don't need to ask for this for the sale. It is a very natural progression. Whenever I finish a treatment, I will always have on the side of my worktop lined up in the order of the products that I used so that I can I can talk to them about this is what I used on you today. And quite often, so if it's a facial, I will have used a whole collection. And so it's really for, easy for me to say, this whole collection individually, if you bought them, would cost X amount. But if you buy the collection with me today, you can save X amount of money. And quite often they say, yeah, I'll take the whole collection and then I'll order it for them online and they pay me um, as part of the facial. I give links to the product. So after the facial or after the treatment, should I say, if you don't have the opportunity to sell to them or if you're not comfortable talking to them about the products at the time, always send them a follow-up WhatsApp message. Um, I hope everyone's got business WhatsApp because it's absolutely incredible. You can add products into a catalog on your business WhatsApp and you can send them a product. So every month if, if with the new offers that come through, you can add the collections to your WhatsApp catalog. And then when the offers go live, you can just send that as a thumbnail to your customer saying, this offer's just become available. They click on it and it goes straight through to your personal website and they just purchase that way. So whenever I see a customer, I will then um, say to them, these are what I recommended for you today, or these are the products that I used on you today and send it as a catalog item in their WhatsApp. 
and uh, definitely go through the collections with them. But the collections are where you save the most money as a customer and everyone as a customer wants to save money. So, you know, even if they're just looking at a cleanser, you can tell them, well, do you know, if you spent this amount, you could get this for free. And everybody loves a freebie. And lots of people will come in saying, oh, I'll just take in the beginning cleanser. And then I talk to them about, oh, well, you know, this moisturizer is nice. Oh, and you can get this for free. Um, so definitely do that. Step four is communication. So after the treatment, I will always follow up um, that day. Just send them a quick message saying, I hope you enjoyed the treatment. And if there are any links to send to them, I definitely do so. Um, I will always follow up with them a week after. How's the skin feeling or how are your lashes looking or how are your nails doing? And just not trying to sell anything to them, but just keeping that relationship going because it is all about communication and building relationships. I have a WhatsApp broadcast, so I will have all my clients for spray tans on one, for reflexology on another, for facials on another. And once a week, I will just send a voice note or a text message on that broadcast or maybe a video, just giving them a little tip in that area. And it doesn't have to be about products. If it's a sunny day, I'll be like, hey, gay, hey guys, what a gorgeous day. Don't forget your SPF. This is why. And that's it. And then they'll come back to me going, oh, can you recommend me an SPF? Yeah, sure. Send them, send them the link. So it's just all about keeping communication and giving value to your customers. Because when you give value and, and not focus on the sale, the sale, the sale, that's when they come to you. And that's really how you want to be selling. The first of the month, I will always send to my customers what the new offers are for Temple Spa. And when someone comes to me for the first time as a customer, I will always say to them, look, I get great offers on products. You might not be interested in them. You might love them. But what I what I would love to do is just once a month, first of the month, send you the offers. You don't even need to reply to me, but at least then you're in the know and you know what great offers there are available and then you can come back to me if you want. Do you want that? All of them say yes, because they don't want to miss out. And, you know, sometimes they won't contact me at all um, afterwards. But, you know, I did I did a spray tan today. The first thing my customer said to me is, oh, it's the truffle cream still available. You sent me that offer on the first and I haven't bought it yet. I said, yeah. She's like, great, I'm going to buy it. Can you send it to me again? And, you know, she's a spray tan client. And she's buying a truffle moisturizer just because I sent it to her on the first of the month. The last Friday of the month, I send everyone a reminder because usually the last Friday is payday. And that's where I can pick up about a thousand pounds in sales in the last few days of the month, just by sending the same message that I sent on the first of the month saying, guys, this offer ends in two days. Everyone's suddenly on trying to buy because they've been paid and they don't want to miss out on that offer. I always put notes in my diary, in my appointments diary. So my booking system, as soon as I've seen a customer, I take five minutes out just to put the notes down of their oohs and ahs, I call them. If someone, if I did a treatment and someone said, oh, I love that product or, oh, that smells nice. I mentally note that and I write it in the notes. If they didn't buy it, that is my virtual wish list for them. I put it in an Excel document next to the client's name so that when that product comes on offer, I can then press control F, search the name of the, that product and everyone who had that on their wish list automatically comes up, send them a message. I remember you loved that product a couple of months ago. You love the smell of it. It's just gone on offer. Do you want it? Yes send them the link through WhatsApp. Whenever a customer purchases, I will always touch base with them just before the product is due to arrive saying, I'm really excited. Your product should be arriving soon. Here are my tips and tricks to get the best out of that product. And it will just be a couple of lines of how best to use it. They absolutely love that. I also offer anyone who purchases uh, opportunity to have a 15 minute consultation call with me when their products arrive to make sure that they know exactly how to use it and that they're happy with it and if they've got any questions and I do that through Calendly so it's just a link that they can book in a 15 minute one-to-one -one with me I set the times that I'm happy to have conversations with clients 
Um, and they they love that because they get to talk to me personally as soon as their product arrives, when they're excited about it. And quite often I will upsell through that phone call um, because they're trying the product as they're talking to me. And then I'll say, oh, do you know what would have gone great with that? This product. Oh, great. Can I get that too? So they're excited. I will always follow up one week later when a, when a customer has got their products and has started using them. One week, I will pop them a message or a voice note and it will be personal and it will be about the products that they've bought and ask them if they are I'm just going to let someone else in. Um, and I will ask them how they're getting on with the product. Quite often, we can forget about the follow up with the customer. And that is so key for repeat purchases. So if a customer is using a product incorrectly, they may think it doesn't work and then they'll just never buy again. And that's it. But quite often they could be using it in the wrong way, using something in the wrong order, doing it at the wrong time. So by just having that touch base with them, they can ask another question or it might be that they actually need another product as well to help them with a different skin concern. So that not only makes them feel valued, but it can help you sell more and also help with repeat purchases. And quite often when I do that follow up, they will say, everything's great. I'm loving it, but I'm running out of a product I bought four months ago. I say, great, I'll send you the link. And that's another sale. OK. Um, I do recommend a friend incentives myself. So um, and this is completely up to you. But I, if a if a customer will recommend a, another customer to me for Temple Spa, I will give them maybe some tapas or um, if the order gets to a certain amount, I'll treat it almost as if it's like a class and say, well, you know, you've recommended three friends to me now and that's come to X amount. So I'm going to gift you a product which you can manage through your hostess gifts if you want to. So how to videos, how to videos are really key for me. Um, people love to get how to videos. So I will just sit, sit in my kitchen on my phone and do a quick demonstration video of how to use it. It's more personal than using. I mean, the assets that Temple Spa give are fantastic. But if it's you physically doing it and you are their therapist, they already trust you. And it's just that going that extra mile. Uh, that extra step for that customer and you can save that and send it out to as many customers as you like um I think that is all on the communication yes I do email campaigns as well so once a week I will set up automated email campaigns when someone joins my business I will ask them in the consultation form do you want tips and tricks on and I list out for them to tick what they want tips and tricks on. And it will depend on what treatments I offer. So do you want tips and tricks on skincare, on reflexology, on spray tans or tanning? Uh, put it all in there and they can tick what they're interested in. And then my newsletter will go out for what they are interested in. And it's all automated. So once it's set up, I don't have to do anything. They all go on there. And as part of that newsletter, it will be education, but it will also be so, for example, if I'm teaching about how to deal with dry skin, there will be dry skincare products that would be good for you and little links to the website. I treat how I treat my customers is almost as if it was a, a social media platform. So I encourage sending um, videos, posts, um, tips and tricks to all of my customers. And it just means that I've got that communication with them throughout the months in between them coming in to see me.